Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will see about this throttle operator. What is this throttle operator? So this is also one of the filtering category of operators. So let's try to see the definition of this throttle operator. Emits a value from the source observable. Okay, so emits a value from the source observable that ignores the subsequent source values for a duration. So that means whatever the values that are emitted from the source observable, so those values will be ignored for a specific duration of a time. So that specific duration of the time is determined by the another observable. So this, this process is repeated again. So if you try to understand, this is the same functionality what we have discussed in the audit also. So the audit also does the same thing. But what is the difference between this audit and throttle? Now here if you try to see throttle and you are having a duration selector which is of a type it will take an uh, duration that is of type observable and also you are having another secondary parameter that is nothing but the throttle config. So this throttle config will have two properties that is nothing but what I can say is trailing and the leading. So I will explain you what is this trailing and the leading. Now if you try to see here the duration selector, a function that receives a value from the source observable for computing the silence duration. So it, it is duration selector is nothing but a function which receives the value each value from the source observable and using that value so it determines the duration how much time it should ignore the source values the return value is automatically it is an observable now if you try to see the marble diagram here is the marble diagram here we are having a duration selector so this is determined by a intermediate observable so this is the duration now here we are having the in between this duration a x and y this these are these three values has been emitted by the source observable and here in between this one so we are passing through the throttle and here we will be giving this duration selector and here second one is the configuration throttle configuration so in this throttle configuration as we already discussed it will have two properties that is leading and the trailing so if you give leading true and also trailing true so in between this duration leading means the first value first value and the trailing means the last value so whatever the values that was released first and the last those values will be emitted to the source observable uh, output observable so here leading a true and trailing true has been given so that means a and y has been emitted in the same scenario the same uh, the same duration it will be repeated here b and x and here leading true and trailing true is there so leading true means leading is nothing but the first value in between this duration what is the first value released b and also x is the last value so b and x is emitted here also the same thing it is emitted here okay so this is the this is the marble diagram okay so this is the marble diagram so leading true is nothing but the in between the duration whatever the first value is emitted it will be emitted here and in between this duration whatever the last value is emitted it will be emitted here okay so this is the marble diagram so throttle emits the source observable on the output observable when its internal timer is disabled so when the internal timer is completed then only it will disable and ignores the source value when the timer is enabled so in between this one when the timer is enabled running the values will be ignored initially the timer is disabled as soon as the first source value arrives it is forwarded to the output observable and then the timer is enabled by calling the duration selector okay which returns the duration observable when the duration emits the value the timer is disabled and the process repeats for the next source value the same thing what we have so what we have uh, so explained so the same thing is going on so now let's try to see the practical implementation of this throttle operator so i am creating here ng gc pages slash throttle operator okay throttle operator so let's try to press enter now if you go here into this one in the operators.html i am giving i am giving this throttle thing okay so here throttle and here also i can give something like throttle so now let's go to the app routing module.ts let's add the routing here throttle so let's it create so it has been created now here i can give throttle component sorry throttle operator component that's it so now let's go to this throttle operator where is this throttle operator so a b c d f g h i j k l m n o t t here it is there yeah so let's go to the t uh, ts file and in this throttle so now what i will try to do is i will try to run this interval of time thousand 
so let's import this interval from rxjs okay so i will subscribe to this data so now i will be doing console.log of data okay so for this one i need to apply throttle so i will apply throttle here throttle of okay let's import this throttle also yeah i'm importing so now throttle will get a value so you, you will be having a function and this function need to return the interval of 1000 so observable which is of type duration so i have added this one so now let's try to see so now he, here i have added this one right so now what is what could be the output here let's try to see the output now if i try to see the output here operators and throttle so first what we'll try to do is so le let's try to understand so now second parameter what we can give here we can give leading of tr true and also so here we can give the throat sorry what happened here so interval and throttle here i need to give okay so here we will be having something like um, leading so you will be able to get leading of true and also trailing sorry we are giving something wrong so sorry not here we need to give here we need to give here here is the thing we need to give right here only you need to give so here is a throttle and here we need to give leading of type true and also trailing of type true so these are the two con so this is a throttle config and now let's try to see the output so now what could be the output say so let's analyze the output here the output will be first it will take the interval zero operator so it will zero will be passed to this interval immediately the interval will run so interval how many times it is to run okay so now leading if leading is a true right so zero is the first value so zero will be printed okay now uh, uh, one and two one and two will go so interval will uh, uh, disappear so interval will be disabled and now trailing is true right so now we will get an output of two so in the same scenario immediately three will come and interval will run so three interval will come four will come so then now the interval will be ended so something like this so now what we will get we will get an output of something like four okay so this is how we will be able to see the output zero two four and next one will be the six like this we will be able to see let's try to see the output how it will be now i am going to the operators and throttle if i try to see the throttle zero two four six eight 10 10 it should come so 10 12 okay 14 like this we are getting able to get the output right so this is how we will be able to see the output so this is the throt throttle so if for example if i given the false here so now what could be the output 2 something like that we are able to see now let's try to see the ending value so 0 will not be printed now if you try to see the output what could be the 2 4 6 so like this the output will be printed now uh, so if i try to print only leading as true and trailing as false means oh no you will be able to get something like same thing zero like that you will be able to get the output zero two three sorry three three you will be getting the output so we should not get a give the uh, main thing right three six so these are the things you will be able to get the output so this is how you will be able to uh, do the throttle so hope you understood about this throttle so nothing uh, same like audit only but you can decide that what is the value to be printed so there the when the in, uh, in the audit when the interval is disabled then the value will be printed right so here you can be you can able to tell same like the th audit you can be tell so what are the first value and last values so whether we should be printing or not uh, we sh whether we should be able to pass it to the output observable or not we, we will be deciding using this throttle config like leading and trailing okay so this is about the throttle hope you understood about this throttle operator if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you